before we get into the thing, let's do the let's get the intro out the way. <laughs> no, we... no more, no more intro. Yeah, Thirty minutes nah, in, yeah. bro. Let's let's <laughs> let's just. Well, guys, since we do the intro, we are back again. The back page, another Monday, and we are out here. I mean, boys, Yo. what are we saying? How are you, boy? The the prem is back. Mm. Obviously, bittersweet, but obviously we're gonna get into the into some stuff. Um, but I'm alright, man. The weekend was good. Mm. John, what are we saying? I'm here, bro. You get me? Long weekend and that. Sammy said, Prem. I think everyone's just happy that football's back on. Honestly. Oh, 100%. They're honestly, starting to watch it, there's man. There's actually something. I was actually looking forward to the weekend. I was looking forward yeah, from Friday, facts. watching the match on Friday yeah, to Saturday facts. morning. Like, I mean, I had two things to look forward to, so. Which one? Prem's back. All or nothing started as well. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We so, are gonna touch on that as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 haven't, I haven't watched it yet, but I need to watch it though. But I've been hearing some stuff though. Mm. But I definitely yeah. am gonna watch it. We should definitely um, watch it and make a an episode of it. I mean, no, the only three episodes have dropped so far. So yeah, they, oh, didn't, they didn't drop one of them. They only dropped yeah. the first okay, three. Okay, so episodes, what I'll yeah. so what I'll probably do is tell the rest of the man them to watch the first three. Yeah, mm. then we can discuss it. Mm. Yeah, fair. Yeah, we can do that still. Yeah, but man. boy, I mean, we started off already talking about some of the fixtures. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go through all of them, but yeah. we might as well, first week back, talk about some highlights of some of the games. I mean, first match was Arsenal, and I expected Arsenal to win, and they went there and mm -hmm. they did the job, and it, they looked promising as well. They looked good. Yeah. Jesus yeah. looked sharp. Zinchenko attackingly looked like he offered something. Mm -hmm. Defensively, I feel like at points he was Very a bit shaky. nowhere. It was, like, yeah, it was a bit shaky, I can't lie. In general, you guys look good. I agree with it. Mm. At the same time, I'll be honest, I think Palace were good as well. I'm not going to take that from them. Mm. I just think we took our chances and won the game they because they had, they had a fair few chances as well. Did. Do you know what I mean? Palace don't have a number nine. That's what it <laughs> is. They actually don't have a number nine. Yeah. And it they, shows so much. Yeah, because they there was a few that they could have put away and they didn't. But I, I so. think that is, I think that that's the difference when you have a striker and you don't have a striker. When you don't have a striker, um, like, yeah, man. Do you need to understand? You man are not these opulent, yeah, these um, elite. It's teams. Like people look at Man City, yeah, 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 they'll like, be like, oh yeah, these, these upper 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 teams list. that you're not. You man can't do that because you don't, don't have yeah. quality players like that uh -huh. to like try and not have a striker. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, so like even for Arsenal, a team like Palace should have a striker. Team. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent, definitely should. They should not even try and go into the season without having a striker I mean, but again this, the the transfers isn't done um, 24 days so they might even still try and get somebody but for some that like arsenal yes like you got are right they they played very well however i think that um arsenal need a direct winger they need someone that is very direct that that just wants to beat their beat their um, fullback yeah. either get a crossing or get a shot off um, I don't really feel that uh, Martinelli and Saka Stackle. are direct enough for me. That they are direct in some instance, but it's like when you know that you can smell blood. This is what it is. I feel like wingers, and like you're a winger yourself. Like so, mm. you you would know that. And I think that me as an like being an attacker, I like to know that my wingers are on smoke. Like when it's your one on one, go on, take that man's head right. off. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, don't try and uh, try and look pretty. Trying to do this link up mm. play. Sometimes you just have to just be like, today I want to murk you. Just like mm. the way you like that. And I think that's why I like Wolf as well. And I think maybe another reason why um, Saka looks for more of the crosses is because he plays more on the right. Yeah. Remember, he's left footed, he's so left. he always cuts in or comes back on his left. So maybe he not, he might need to practice on getting shots off on his right but yeah i think arsenal definitely do need a um um what's it direct wingers because even oh, as for would you say both sides i'll say maybe maybe on the one right side, side. yeah because i feel like in terms of on the right on the right wing even though he doesn't get much game time i feel like pepe Pepe goes for it when he's mm. there. Now, if Pepe was actually a serious professional, 
it's no, true. It's true, though. It's true. It's facts. If it's it was true. actually it's a definitely serious true. professional, <laughs> it's definitely true. Yeah. Then he could be one of those wingers that we're talking about. No, I, 100%. Because like I said, for some reason, I don't know what it is. I, I don't think that, anyone that does that. That is not feeling, but he's not feeling something. But, but for some reason, Arteta likes him enough to keep him at the club. Mm. Based on what I've seen and like little comments here and there, I feel like Pepe knows what it is and he knows he needs to work on it, which is why we don't hear much. I don't hear much, I don't see much. Even if not all enough, I don't think see, I don't think and I, I think one much. of the last things I saw, even Pepe's dad says something along the lines of he needs to get it together. So that means he must be so he's, there's something he's doing or there's something he's not doing. Yeah. So he must be either in London just raving it up. I don't know speculation. <laughs> he must be he must be either getting planes back and forth to France, trying to go Wait. back back to the hood and show man the role. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Because I'll, I'll be real, the, the wing the winger that you're saying we need. I feel I agree with you. I feel like it could be Pepe if he was serious. Yeah, mm. of course it could be like cause because Pepe he, he does that. If he can't get the cross, he's going for it. And, you know and what I mean? the thing is, he's very talented. He's a very he's talented player. So mad. I don't get like very why. talented guy. I don't know what it. I don't. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what it is. Maybe all or nothing might show us something later down maybe, the line. I don't know, maybe. but right now I don't know what it is. The thing but. is, yeah, I feel like a lot of fullbacks in the league will fear him. Hundred mm. percent. If he was actually a serious person. Yeah. Like when he was like even when. Um, I think maybe like two years ago or two seasons ago when he, he got played Liverpool and he, get, and he went up against um, Van Dijk. Yeah. He gave Van Dijk a bit of problems. Yeah. So those kind of things to show you like, it's like, oh, this guy actually has something. He can actually be one of those players because when he's had like those good spells, you can see like, there's certain players here, even in the league here, like Zaha, St. Maxim, where yeah. you, the fullbacks, you don't see them ever. They just stand off yeah. and just wait for the person right. to see what they, because mm-hmm. if, if you go in, it's are yeah. done. Like, you're actually that. done. So he could be one of those guys, but I don't know. What's, then, what's this? His third season now? I think so. Maybe I think, fourth. For, I think it might even be his fourth. Oh to be man, honest, yeah. then, bro. <laughs> and, but, and maybe as well is that maybe Arteta needs to encourage. Again, I don't know if um, our, like man Arteta isn't encouraging his um, wingers to be to be expressive. Yeah. I don't know what. It, maybe yeah. maybe it's more yeah. of a tactical thing as well because someone like um, Gabriel, he's actually been. Um, well, obviously, we can't say he's been amazing, but from the first game, um, cold. That's that's yeah. that's that's the thing that Arsenal I, have been missing a striker that can one hold up the hold up the ball, yeah. can um, can create his own chances, mm-hmm. and can also link up play very well. Mm-hmm. That's something that yeah. you know I think you have been missing maybe since Thierry, yeah. maybe slash Adebayor. Mm. Van Persie times, yeah. you know, that's what I'm, that's, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So I, think I hear that. I think another thing as well, obviously in terms of like, I mean, we don't really know what Arteta wants these men to do, but then at the same time, watching like the preseason and the first game, Arteta looks like someone he plays with the formation a lot during mm. the game. So yeah. it's just like it might not always work for certain men to do certain things. Mm. Mm. So it's like sometimes my might do the four at the back and then next thing we know it's like three five one two and then it's yeah. like four two three one like yeah, it's, it's mad but ob- it's ever changing but the mm. thing is obviously in football as well it's like even um like like you're saying sometimes the the back five could I mean back four could ever go from a four to a five and that those things could ever be in transition yeah so when you're getting counter attack or whatever it's just putting an extra man at the back mm-hmm. but then when you're going forward you come out it could change maybe to like a four two four because of transition. Yeah. But when you lot are balanced, your balance is probably like a four uh four is it a four three two one you lot usually play? I would say it's more of a four two three one. Yeah. Mm. So. Four two three one is probably the one I'm most familiar seeing Arsenal doing. But it's only recently, like during preseason and stuff, I started seeing the three five one two and all this mm-hmm. other stuff now. So that's that's yeah. him when he's putting like Eddie and Gabriel up top together. So that could be like a three-five-two situation. Or sometimes yeah. that. And yeah, I think that's quite smart because again, that like sometimes, um, always doing like the four-three-three thing, yeah. It don't always it makes work. It very, makes it very hard for, um, especially if your striker's small, to deal with two, two defenders. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes it's always good 
to put two strikers up top. So the one defender can always have, you're always going to have a one a one v one situation or yeah. a two on one situation if the fullback, if their fullback lacks. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But if mm-hmm. it's one, if, it, if you have two strikers, your best option sometimes is either if me and Shakes are strikers and I'm telling him, if you get the ball, go at your, go at your defender mm. or give and go. Because one thing that defenders don't like is running backwards yeah. mm. towards their own goal or, or having to, you know, having to kind of like be in a 1v1 situation. They don't like that. Yeah. Unless you're a top defender, they don't mind it. But if you're one of those people that you can catch man on skates, they're not like <laughs> they, they don't like it at all um but i think yeah man arsenal you've got a couple of men that can do that and let's just see how the season goes for you lot really yeah, uh, last thing i'll add as well saliba looks good oh, i was just gonna ask you about what you think about you. Saliba. he looked good he i looked can't good lie to you he, he looks good he's good first yeah first prem game mm-hmm. away yeah man even took man even went home with man of the match bro. he looked he looked good he personally looked for me i think that he looks better than Virgil. Oof. Let's just say that too soon. That's know. a big statement. Let's just say that too soon. No, I remember. I said it like two weeks ago. I know, ago. I remember. It's I a said, big, it's, like, it's a big statement. So, like, trust but me, truth like, be told, he, he, bro, he can be he levels, be. if not. No, yeah, he, he could be, but like, so I don't really see, like, I don't really see like the proper hype over Van Dijk. That, that's all it is. I don't yeah. honestly see it. That's, that's, it, that's all it is. I'm not gonna, I'll leave it there. Let's not compare this. Yeah, yeah let's, you know, let's yeah. not compare yeah. 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 That's, that's <laughs> how <laughs> Liverpool fans will now come exactly, and say agenda, yeah. bro. Come, and come for my neck, but that's, hey. come and say agenda. No, but so. again, you guys, well done. You got your first win of the season. It's true. One and one. United, on the other hand, <laughs> first loss of the season. And is, uh, I mean, boy, <laughs> I don't want to say too much on this one because I didn't even watch the match like that. Okay. From what I've seen, I watched the whole game, but I'm gonna let uh, Sammy, mm. Sammy so, go. So obviously, it was a hard, it was a hard team to kind of like pick in terms of, let's say, Marshall yeah. being injured. Obviously, Ronaldo not having a full preseason and only having one um, game, and um, before the season starts, was it two? I'm not too sure. So to now mm. start, to now start, man, it's, yeah, that would have been mean. tricky because he wouldn't have been as fit. Um, as he would like to be, or maybe Ten Hag would have liked to, um, of him to be. Um, but obviously, I think that where we've gone wrong is playing a false nine. That's that is that is the first and foremost the kind of type of thing. Obviously, I like think, yeah, yeah. Have you guys ever even done you, that? I've before? never seen I've United never ever seen play United a false nine. Before. I've never seen that happen. That. But again, obviously, I, I can kind of understand why he might have done it to a degree. But I think that. Playing Ericsson false nine, um, Ericsson was just coming more and more. He was drawing back in it. Coming back to the to um, the midfield to try and pick up the ball. So even to try and even maybe start United off on a counter or maybe on an attack, there's nobody to come and pick up the ball. Like Rashford and um, Sancho's Sancho. movement yeah. wasn't the best yesterday. Like, barely saw Sancho. Yeah, bro. I barely oh, saw like, him. I barely saw barely him. Saw and Sancho, I, and I even barely saw um, Rashford to a degree, apart from these little half chances that he had. Mm. Um, again, I will say the same thing that I said to um, about Arsenal. I think that we need a direct winger. Mm. Um, Rashford is direct, but again, I think he's more of a... He's someone that is more of um, a link-up winger. So mm. in 2 v 1 situation again, if you give him go, he will either cross it or shoot or whatever the case may be rashford is very direct but i think rashford um his best when rashford at his best is when he's not playing when he's not thinking too much yeah so when he's always thinking about what he should do like if he's on the wing and he's thinking about what he should do he's gonna bath himself yeah and then that's how he gets himself like he gets himself caught out but when he's on a 1v1 and he's saying i'm gonna i'm gonna that's that one v one. That one v one's always been his thing, though. But the thing is, is it's when he's not thinking. Yeah. But when he has like two, like one thing I've called about Marcus Rashford, he's not good in like um two v one situations. So like you see, like how Hazard can take on two man. Yeah. Mm. yeah. He can't do that. He can't really do that. He baffs himself. 
because like, that's what he does. His decision making yeah, is very it's, it's terrible. His decision it's making childish, is man. terrible. It's so childish. we need wingers that their decision making is good and they know when to go at their man and when mm. not to go at their man. Um, our midfield, we can't be listen. We cannot do <laughs> Man of the Mac Fred in yeah, 2022, 2020. Yeah, we can't. We like we can't do this Mac Tom and Fred thing for the next year or so. These like have been doing this for three years now, and nothing like there. There's no good partnership between them. Do you know what the killer for me was? It's like before the match even started, when the lineups came out. Mm. I was scrolling through my Twitter and everyone was just like, I can't believe we're playing McFred in 2022, yeah, 2023. To be fair, well. maybe he's doing it because as well as like, he doesn't want to change up things too fast. So everyone might be thinking, or players might be thinking like, right, like, it's not the, so maybe he's like, look, I've played these man for like, maybe two, three games, it's not working. I'm changing up the whole thing type thing, innit? Yeah. Like, it could be a thing like that. Um, but yeah, I just think that for United, um, we need to get someone in this week. No, it's, it's, we need to get someone in this week. It's like, yeah, it's the first game. I'm not going to be saying, oh, it's a crap for help. Because yeah. it's not, um, even though we like, we know that preseason isn't, um, isn't, a, isn't, you know, much of a thing to go by your team in terms of how they're looking. But they missed Marshall a lot in terms of his hold up play and how he links up. So I think if Marshall was there with, Rashford and um, Sancho because they've been actually been yeah. Yeah. It would've up. been. I think it would have yeah, been very been different been, to be honest. But, and even, I'm even <laughs> saying that me of all people about <laughs> no, Marshall, do I you know, know what I'm trying to say? Like I don't that, really yeah. feel him like that. But again, like he's a very good, he's a talented striker when he, mm. again, he has his head switched on. Yeah. Um, so I just think that that was a massive blow in so the cool. dynamics, but you know, I, I believe in Ten Hag, honestly. Mm. I, I but even like, still with this match, I would have played, I don't know, like, I would have played Rashford just up top. And then if anything, I've seen Ericsson play out wide. I was going to say, if you put Rashford right, up top, like, who would you put out on the wing? I put Ericsson. I wouldn't do that, you know. But he, Ericsson used to play that role for Spurs, pretty much. You're like, right. he's not going to be, a, a, play like a winger. He's more just like do a creative midfielder kind of thing. I slightly would have just played Ilanga. Oh, yeah, like simply there as well, and simply it? because of the fact that he's on it. So like you see like so even like when United were pressing, yeah. Yeah. Their press wasn't the, the press at preseason wasn't the same press as it was in the first game. Mm. Type thing. It is there was a lot of gaps that Brighton were just getting through. Brighton just looked on it when they first, yeah. when it like when they got their first goal that's when they just started moving crazy. Daniel Welbeck, all credit to you, fella, because you was causing um, <laughs> causing um, the back the back line all sorts of problems. Mm. Um, another thing that I will say, I don't think that um, what's his name? Martinez. Ma- is it his name Martinez? Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Martinez should play um, as a CB. I think that he is better off playing as a DM. Um, he's very aggressive. Mm. Um, but I think he's just a bit too small to play at the back and do anything silly. But I think that if you were to get a better CM and play him DM, because on the ball he's actually very good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I think I like Ten Hag. I think that I think maybe this is the wake up call for him to know that this ain't the the Dutch league, and you yeah. know you can't just try and just think okay because I don't have a striker. Let me try to do the false nine thing. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Fair. It's like you have to. Someone should have told him, my guy. Mm. This is the prem. Like someone, he, like his number. Whoever his number two is, if yeah. the number two is someone that has actually been in the prem, that person should have advised him and said, look, this, to this do the false nine thing here. Yeah, I don't well, know if it's gonna work like that. Well, well I heard that um, United, where well, we did go after another a number nine, Marco Anatovic, got ten million from Bologna, and they even turned it down. So I mean. <laughs> If that's not a statement to, uh, you know, where we're at right now, it's a bit mad still. I mean, I was saying to Sammy, though, you guys, I mean, it's not a done deal yet, but it's looking like it's going to go through. Um, Rabio? Oh, Rabio. PSG. <laughs> See, that response tells yeah, me but, everything. Wait, <laughs> but do you know why I haven't I haven't responded to... And you ain't really seen man play. That, and, it's because, and, and again, I know that all of these buyers oh. that we're having 
are all panic buys. These are all, and this is simply because somewhere in these man's mind at the board or whoever's behind the scenes are still waiting for this Frankie Dion deal to come through or something. But again, people hmm. need to let that go. Surely man has seen enough to know that he's not, not coming, bro. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm, I, I agree with you. So if Ten Hag needs to be like, look, if he's not coming, but for some reason, even like I've been watching um, Ten Hag's um, press conference, he seems very, co- and not even confident that it can be done, but it's not like he hasn't, he hasn't um, like shut it down. Like they've asked him all like, yeah, for about Frankie Dion, he's like, yeah, like, we, like, yes, we're interested in him, like, we oh, want him. He hasn't, he hasn't said, oh, like, you know, the transfer is taking long, and oh, that this and that is happening. He just said, yeah, we're interested in him, and we want him. So there must be something that we don't know that he does, or the clubs do know. But we need to get these transfers thick and fast coming in thick and fast, mm. um, because now even at like yesterday's game. It's as almost like okay again not to say that we don't need him but when we lose these type of games it's like oh we need cr7 and cr7 can change and make the difference and stuff like that but i just think that everyone forgets the facts and the facts are united want to keep him that's a man but that he's, he wants he's to expressed he wants, wants to go to yeah do you understand so we can't beg someone that wants to Mm. that doesn't actually want to play for the club anymore again like i'm i'm happy that ten hog um even backed them in terms of with the whole leaving yeah, the thing that. um leaving the um the match the matches early and then saying that well, it wasn't only just ronaldo it was quite a lot of them um so that's even good so that even should show ronaldo that look your manager's on backing you so do your thing in it mm. just come here and just do your thing if it means next season or come summer you leave then so no. be it you know mm. but yeah man i think that for united it's just the first game um there's a lot of potential there i believe but we just need to just get the right players uh-huh. that we can't just try and go for stupid guys that like we need to get in the right man for this guy and just let this guy do his thing because i i honestly feel that he's going to get it right i feel like i feel like as well i feel like it's just this time and backing man mm. as long as they give him the time and they give him the funds I don't see why he can't get the job done. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, Do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, he has to be given those two things. And and I'm going to put more emphasis on the time than the money. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I've said, I'm prepared, like, well, for the next three seasons, if we don't even challenge for the Think league, about, like, I don't even mind. Every, like, every other team, and I'll always use mine as an example, when Arsenal went through that rebuild phase, it was a good how many, how long? Mm. Like three seasons, bro. It's and I'm, I'm not even going to say like okay cool we're where we want to be but for me this is the best Arsenal's looked in a long time bro mm. yeah, I think you know I think our problem is is that because we've had new manager after new manager the rebuild we might say oh yeah we're transitioning like another rebuild yeah and then a year might go or two manager will get sad. I think when you, how long was Mino there for like two or three seasons uh, two on a bit two, two a bit. in January yeah so even like same with social social was there like two three years as well and then he got sacked and then now we're, re- we're here to rebuild so my thing is we have to stick with this guy there's no one else that we can go and get unless you're going to now entice Poch but I don't even want Poch like you, my whole thing you, is let us just stick with oh, this guy because mm. th- for me this guy that has the right attitude um, the right kind of thing that he wants from players so let's just give my man his his um his chance time. Mm-hmm. his time um but what what you're saying has to be expressed to the man you fans that are quick to start their hashtag my man out i mean to be honest i should at I, no point this season should man see ten hog out bro. if, if we see ten hog out on like social media or whatever i just think that there's a lot of it's fans that want attention mm. or and and people that are here for the banner because i number one the, my man's not on the pitch this is not he's not controlling man it's not fifa so you know he can the, the best thing he can do is put out a squad mm. put out a team that he feels can compete against these other english um prem teams do you get what i'm trying to say so yeah. if mm. these men are not on it it's, it's good for him because he's like well no one can't no one can't say 
that he hasn't played this person, he hasn't tried to play this person yeah. or whatever. Because when people are getting shipped off, I don't want to hear players talk about, ah, oh, the club that disrespected me. Or, like, no, like, you 100%. haven't played, you haven't kicked ball the way you should be kicking ball. Not only that as well, man, I have to remember the man, I have to look at the team that he's inherited as well. There you go. Yeah, That's why I feel like there's more onus on the on the actual the board, the actual club to actually support him because it's inevitable. Like I feel like fans at some yeah. point are gonna say ten hog out. At you some can't point. think it's unfair if they do, man. It's unfair. It's unfair. It's but massively I feel like unfair they are if they do. do that. But it's the You're board right. to say, listen, we're trusting this guy. Similar to Arsenal as well. Yeah. Like it's for the the club to say we're trusting Arteta. There was that's period why, of time, man. That's was why, like, Arteta, made, this that's Arteta why out, but obviously the board was seeing what's going on and they're thinking, you know what? we're gonna stick it out with my that's man why for it me like, like it's working now i just think, think like as much as like again i don't know what goes on um, at football clubs in terms of what the ball speaks about or what the chairman speaks about. that's why i just keep it on the pitch yeah. because it's that you can only judge man what, you see on what we're seeing on the pitch it's that i mean i don't even think that even these players to a degree know the ins and outs about what the board are thinking or what the board's trying to do. So just to add as well, I think the one good thing, and hopefully it does make a difference, one the own, one of the owners was there. Avram Glazer. I don't care about all of that. You see all of those things, it doesn't... No, I just mean, no, but, but I just but mean it, it should, just, it should help a, in a yeah, sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he's going to watch there. and be like, okay, okay we need to do, do something this. about Let this. Me tell you I know what you're saying though. I know, I get what you mean. Let me tell you even why it doesn't even matter. It's because for the years that um the fans have been complaining about their glazers and stuff like that you haven't been at games like that really and truly they haven't been at games like that so i don't i don't really care about if the glazers are there or not the, the reality of it is now that i'm just thinking of is how is the glazers being there going to improve the united team i feel like maybe first time they'll be able to see like obviously their football knowledge might not be like you know to the extent of like the, the manager or whatever but mm-hmm. i feel like they'll be able to see like firsthand what the issues potentially are yeah. within the club kind of thing because be- bear in mind this is also someone they said that he doesn't frequent that place at all mm. it's be- they they said sit what since they've owned man you this guy in particular because obviously yeah. it's the family right yeah they said this is like his third or fourth game that's that he's mad. been to, bro. That's mad. So in how many is, years? And, th- and that's a problem for, and that's why I said that's a massive problem for me. But again, I don't, I can't really care about that. It's because at the end of the day, an American owner coming to now try and understand football, it's a <laughs> myth. My mm. brother, you know we've but, been, you know we were in the same boat, innit? No, I mean, mm. no, I mean even with you as well, it's <laughs> a myth because remember at the end mm. of the day is that. When they're out in America, yeah. they're more interested in what's going they're, on in all, other they're, sports. They're, yeah, just it's care, because they just—they all care about their NFL teams. It's because the, and their baseball teams or basketball teams. Yeah, that's because number one, they understand the sport. Mm. Two, they actually like the sport. Mm. So it's not even a thing of where even yes, it is a it is to make money scheme yeah. or yeah. to get to get peas, but. Over in America, them men are all about winning a championship mm. and getting their ring and stuff like that. Here, like for them, it's all like Super Bowls. Yeah, and like yeah. here, it's just like okay, yeah, like we've invested and we just want. And that's why it's important yeah. for them to be at the game so they can see, they can I feel agree. the passion I of agree. the thing. Because I'm sure that he would have come and seen and heard the United fans moaning and screaming like, mm-hmm. "How are you guys doing this?" And yeah. like, I feel like when you like you don't need to understand football to understand disappointment or to see oh, passion for yeah, fans kind of thing so i feel like it's important for owners to actually be there to be like okay yeah i'm making money for this but there's stakeholders in this club as well yeah. not just my money there's people i that, think for them as well you know? i think the only reason they're doing stuff like making appearances now is because the money is not flowing like it used to <laughs> that's true. That's so when true. the money that's, flows, that's when it becomes a problem for them it's like okay there's certain money that's not coming in anymore because we're not getting certain things mm-hmm. or we're signing man for x amount and man are running down their contracts and just bouncing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i agree i just think that maybe like if you're going to be an owner just have small interests yeah in yeah sport. and Wax. with that as well i think the one thing where i'll kind of hail up arsenal a little bit is because not stan but he's kind of left his son to it mm. But Josh has been there, like Josh has been with Edu regular. Mm-hmm. So it's like, cool, he's taken some sort of interest. 
you see man on the behind the scenes on the all or nothing thing as well yeah. but then you're seeing man at games together and everything mm-hmm. so it's like Obviously, at some point Josh has taken some sort of interest in thought this is what okay, I would like okay cool we need to do something about this now because it really is a problem this is what I would like now so obviously we know that probably your chairman or the owner sorry is an old man so maybe yeah. he ain't got time to be now coming to I mean I don't fly. think he does either no man. I'm just saying he ain't got time to come and fly or whatever so like you're saying yeah. he sent his son and his son who might be thinking you know what I'm actually interested in this he might even be doing more research because of now that we've got social like I think like how obviously we have social media and how it's bridged the gap between a lot of countries and mm-hmm. whatever mm. it's like he might be thinking yeah football's actually a lit a big thing and it's coming to be big in America also yeah, yeah. I actually found out. Do you know what's mad? Mm. I think the last thing you just said is probably the one of the major keys. Yeah. Football's becoming a huge yeah. thing in the States now. Yeah. yeah. So I just think that that's the same maybe way that someone in the Ga- Glazers family, maybe like a young son who's actually, who's, who's ear are, who, whose ear is to the um, sports world, that yeah. could be either from mm. NFL to soccer but and their thing. I, to come and do their thing but but then i think i guess in that regard it's like because obviously your actual owner what he died in what 2014 yeah. so mm, i think yeah. it, the family run it so it must be his, like his son so but how how young is the youngest son because the son that was at the mm. game is 61 years old bro so this is what i'm, tra- so this is what yeah. I'm trying to say so again we don't know how many we don't know how many um, members of the glazer family are there so unless if it's not if the son is 61 that you're saying or 60 then it might be his son that might be younger that can tell us that can say dad like, like you might say just but is his son right in there. on the business though that's another thing well it's a gla- <laughs> like let's be, I, let's be honest if you're saying that like, the glazer family or the concrete family like i'm sure it's a family business mm. if them men are billionaires do you think yeah, that you, uh, as if i'm a billionaire i can't lie like, i'm telling my brother, children i'm, sorry, I'm, I'm telling I'm, my children i don't <laughs> care i don't even care if you might want to become doctors you might stand in the family business there's yeah. no point like there's no point you man going to do anything else pretty, apart from stay in this bro, family uh, and make, <laughs> make this bread, make this bread be <laughs> it's cheap <laughs> there's no point i'm looking at the picture of the glazers and <laughs> none of these old, men are young men bro they're all old man they're all old so then, then they're, so then, they're not so young then men either bro. they need to sell the club to people that actually want to make change at at these kind of clubs and bring the club back to um um the top from a from a fan standpoint mm. i don't even think that fans feel like they have any type of power to a degree but yeah, man. Boy. But then, I mean, I guess the only thing you can hope for is if they were to sell, they don't go and sell to other Americans. Nah, nah, I don't want that. I don't want an American. Arab. Because you might have to remember as well. I mean, God knows how much. Personally, if if they do want to sell, the price is going to be nuts. Mm-hmm. I just think that I either, either want an English billionaire that actually is a fan of football. I think that's, what, that's another thing as well. Mm. Once you have someone that actually likes football and is a fan of it, the it's English easy. guys, them are not stingy, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know when this went through, but from what I'm seeing here, when the Glazers took over, it cost them 800 mil, and that was then. Wow. So what's that gonna cost now? Yeah, I mean, how much? How much was Chelsea for? One point something bill. It's mad yeah. it's peak. United. Yeah. But that's the thing, though. I think that someone, will, someone. No, the will... thing is, someone will. But you just have to hope and pray that the person's English. The person, if the person's English and the mm. person like knows what football means to the fans, mm. like this Todd guy with Chelsea, bro, man that's bought true. Chelsea and they were splashing yeah, immediately. And that's what I think. See that's even signing start yesterday. Yeah, and that's even the reason why I think let's say Liverpool, Liverpool do well because their borders, even though their board is kind of owned by or got um, American true. investors, yeah, but a lot of their thing is very fan centric and fan based. Mm. Or like even like their board, their board are actually like Liverpool fans, that kind of thing. I believe. I but feel yeah. like that's it's the fans that even allowed for that as well. Yeah, like United when we were bought it was just yeah, man, we got money coming in. But Liverpool, they they don't fail to remind you that hey, listen, this is Liverpool Football Club. Yeah, like exactly. so, so it's mad. But yeah, even talking about Liverpool, um, narrowly escaped the loss, mm-hmm. and very narrowly because mm-hmm. Fulham had them on the ropes. Fulham had them on the ropes. Mm-hmm. Mitrovic had Van Dijk on the ropes, mm-hmm. was jumping over Trent. Mm-hmm. Like he made that backline look a bit <laughs> wishy-washy. Yep. 
it was a very shaky start for them, but somehow they managed to get a thing. She managed to get a draw. I think that where Liverpool struggled was the fact that their pitch was small. Mm. Um, I Not think that the pitch was dry, because that's what that's what. <laughs> no, what I don't Klopp think said. the pitch. I think he's no, no, lying. that's what Klopp yeah, said. I think he's lying. I think of he's course, lying. That, even that. Why does this guy always come up with all these funky excuses? Yeah, like he always, always does that. Always something. He always says but something like that. I think that one Liverpool. Um, what was it? I think that Liverpool um, obviously have missed. I've missed Mane, obviously. That's mm. a big thing. Like, yeah. I don't know why people or fans thought that Liverpool, by Mane not going, that Liverpool are going to be um, um, I don't know. okay. I don't know. But um, I just think that, yeah, I think that that game on Saturday, their wingers weren't really doing much. Again, it's the, it's the wingers as well. It's, it's the wingers. I, it's, for Liverpool style of play, their mm. wingers are, are such an important factor to their game. Mm-hmm. Um, Salah like, didn't really he, he do didn't, much. That first half, he didn't even like touch the ball. Really. Saw him. This, you know, um, Diaz as well. Mm. Mm. Just, yeah. It, but I think that maybe the pitch had more to do with it in terms of how small it is. Because mm. again, if it was a wider pitch, then yeah, you know the, how the man, they'll yeah. be touchline or mm-hmm. even coming to beat their fullbacks and stuff like that. I feel like it was very hard for them to get in a rhythm. Mm. Um, in that game, Fulham credit to them because, to be honest, I thought that I thought, I thought Liverpool I, were gonna, I thought gonna, were gonna open them, gonna open the ash for them. I, thought, I actually, I honestly thought that. Yeah, same. I, I thought, honestly I, thought that. I literally said to my boy, who's a um, Liverpool fan, said, "Yeah, you might have this, have this in the bag." Mm, but then, five, when I watched it, like that. I was watching it. I was like, "Wow, Liverpool are on it." I mean, not Liverpool, Fulham, sorry, Fulham were, on were on it. it. Yeah. They were on it. They were getting into every 50-50. They mm. were just like, even they were kind of like matching. Um, Liverpool's kind of press like yeah, there was even they were, they there was were. even a time when Liverpool were, was it was hard for them mm. to get out of their own half. Mm-hmm. Even this Andreas Pereira that we sold to these man, like this guy was actually rolling with the work rate. I was thinking, it was mad. It was Bro. actually very mad. I don't Bro. know what it is. Is it is it like obviously like even like last season Brentford came up like recent years i feel like some of these teams when they come up from their thing i don't know like they've got energy like mm-hmm. they feel like they can actually take it to these yeah. big these big clubs yeah i agree but again i, I don't think, know what it is you know, I, I, I just think yeah that um everyone's coming to every, come to a time in football where where if i'm not like let's say now liverpool or city or maybe chelsea pretty much everyone else Actually, even Chelsea, no, no. Actually, no, 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 no. Let me just put Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool and, and C. Yeah. Everyone else is much beatable. So even like down mm. to the lower team, the lower teams are not shook. They're not shook. So mm. even though like I thought, yeah, like Brighton, we might beat them yesterday. Um, it, in the back of my mind, I was still saying these man pumped us for nil the last time he. They're mm-hmm. two man down as well. Yeah. No, I don't really care. Again, you see how everyone said, "Oh, they're two man." Like football's football. At the end of the day, like everything, football's based on confidence and form mm-hmm. so if if the team as a team you know that oh like we've done them over like lot like just not too long ago mm-hmm. you're gonna why can't we do it again, okay yeah. do you understand it doesn't matter about if basuma mm. and certain man are not like if i'm going there thinking but last season we came them four nil at home <sighs> yes yeah, like why do i need to be shook why do I need to tell my team that? Oh, that's because what we ain't got. Telling them as well, yeah. Like, 100%. yeah. <laughs> exactly what the man's telling them. As a manager, that's what you say. You'd be yeah. like, listen, it's doable. You've because done it again. Because even like again. someone like Lallana played out of his skin yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even like going back to like Liverpool, yeah, Liverpool, they they have they have struggled. And me personally, oh god, <laughs> just me personally, I do not believe in this Darwin Nunes kid. We're gonna talk about him, yeah. We're gonna talk about him, but I'll save that for a question for later. But yeah, I mean, I just don't believe in his source. He did score. It was a very good goal and a good goal. It was a good goal, but there's just something about him that looks very unawkward for me. Obviously, I'm a striker. Like when I'm like when I'm mm. when I'm watching football, especially obviously because I'm a striker. Like I like to really watch strikers and how like what yeah, type of strikers that. you are in it, yeah. kind of thing. And when I look at him, he looks very. What, awkward offense. yeah very yeah it's very I hear awkward it. i hear it it's, it's not like it's it's like when you're looking at him even though i know it's just the first game 
it don't it, there's something about him that just doesn't look natural yeah it's like it's just like what are you like what do you offer to this liverpool team that they needed you this bad i just feel like it's just scoring finishing i mean it could look awkward but i just feel like if the ball is in the box he looks like the kind of guy that will put the ball in the back okay, of but the to them when but when the ball's not coming into the box I what is can, he doing do you do you think do you think it's a case of or it could be a case of, should I say, maybe he just needs to adapt to their system. That could be a thing as well. But I think that as a striker, yeah, you have to bring what you're good at. So if I know, for instance, like for someone like me, I'm good at hold up play. So I'm going to show man or every chance I get to try and link my players in or hold up. Mm. hold up play or show them a bit or something i know that i'm good at maybe hold up play and turning on man on and so you need to show something do you get what i'm trying to you need mm -hmm. to show like you need to show why liverpool have bought you apart from the goals yes cool but what what is your actual attribute that you're good at i mean i don't think he's like it, his attributes is necessary like playmaking or anything like that we've so then what is it then just scoring, just finishing. Then I just feel like he's just hungry I'm for not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. That's bad, if then. if that's all it is, it's then, not enough. Yeah, it's I'm not sorry, enough, it's not. It's not, not enough. In the, it's nah, not enough. in the Premier League, it's not enough. I it's hear enough. it in the Premier League, but maybe I'm just looking at enough. Liverpool. Did they need... I mean... How much did they get them for? 80 something mil. It's peas. Bro, it's peas. I promise it is peas. If I'm getting you but for eight, just like, remember, just like I told you when we bought uh, Marshall all those years ago for 50 mil, I said, this this you needs to win me Premier League and win Ballon d'Or, bro. It's because, cause, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's because that, you see when you're bringing, when you're buying these men for such, for such, for that kind of money, yeah? yeah? What are their attributes that's going to change your team? Like when you come in now, what is it that's making Liverpool because again, we've seen Haaland come into this Man City team and we and know- the thing is, yeah, go on. Like, go on. We, know, like we, can, we know what attributes he has. But I mean, that that's only because he's been on a bigger stage than that Nunes in terms of like, we've known about, we've, we've known the Haaland hype kind of thing. Obviously, no, it's been even banned in the, in the Champions League as well, Nunes as no, well. But, but okay. Haaland is just a bigger brand. Okay, Everyone can, knows can I, him kind of okay, thing. So. Haaland, Haaland was cheaper as well. Let's 50 just mil. That, let's just throw true. that in it's there. True. But it's can true. I just say like, when I'm looking, okay, so for Haaland, yeah, again, now, when we now talk about I'm Haaland- that bit at the bottom there. This one there. So when we talk about Haaland, so like Haaland, Haaland's, one of Haaland's best attributes for a big, for a big person is he's actually very fast. And, um, Do you want, let me just, you can just swim, man. So Haaland is for a big person or for a tall person, he's, He's fast, he's strong. And for someone like, for his stature, you would think that he'll be more of a target man. Yeah. yeah. But he's someone that likes running behind, last shoulder. Like again, we saw his goal, one of his goals yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how he scored. Yeah. So that's, that is some, that's an attribute that we know that because we know defenders don't like running back. So that's something that I said, that's an attribute that my man has. He, he's also strong. I don't really know if um, Darwin Nunes is strong like that. I haven't, there's he's nothing, strong. I haven't, I don't know. I'm I not gonna, strong. I haven't can seen. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, I've not really seen man play, but I think the only thing I will say, I feel like Liverpool just wanted a goal scorer and they just went for someone. I mean, that's what they needed, really. Because personally, that's what they I think that, I think that Jota offers more. Jota I'd, even offers, say, I'd even say Diaz, you know. No, but the thing is, no, Jota, but Diaz is like, a winger, but yeah. Jota, cause Jota is more of a he plays more of a striker. Mm. But the thing is, I hear Jota, Jota does more. offer more, yeah, in terms of the game. But like, if I'm in like a final Champions League final, like last season or something like that, and I need someone to score, I don't think Jota is my man that I would really put there. He's not. He's he's like a new age kind of striker. Like he doesn't. Mm. He's not. I don't know. I won't say he's a goal scorer. He scores goals. Yeah. But. I feel like he's more of a playmaker. I feel like maybe he's more of a supporting striker or just behind the striker. I feel I like he'd be more suited. But to put him out and out there and say, okay, yeah, you are, you need to be our main yeah. goal scorer. I don't think you. Ha they, I don't think he's that guy. And I don't think Liverpool okay, I have had that I as well. That. 
Hence why Mane and Salah every season are their top goal scorers. So I feel like with this signing, I feel like they were just like, do you know what? Really, if we're going to compete for the, se- the league this this season, we mm-hmm. need a man that's going to guarantee us this these, these goals up it's top. It's true. And to, and, but the type of wingers Liverpool have, mm-hmm. they're not they're not wingers that, that are going to feed you goals. Like not, go. <laughs> they're not gonna be whipping it in the in the box, mm. cause if for someone if that if that guy looks like he's like six two six three, he looks that very he's yeah. very tall. Yeah. So if mm. if I have someone of that stature, of course I have to tell my wingers at it's times that like, mix it up a bit. I yeah. get your your striker involved mm. and l- get him goals and whip it and do your thing, isn't it? That's true. But the kind of wingers that Liverpool have. They no, are direct greedy. Ready, yeah, very direct, and especially Salah. We know yeah, that Salah's yeah. going to try and mm-hmm. go for 20-something goals this season. Mm. So that's the problem that I think Liverpool might have on their hands. Yeah, I mean, for me, I do feel like they definitely overpaid for him, 100%. Mm-hmm. But, like, games like Saturday shows why they might have needed him because before, <laughs> before he came on, it was just looking a bit bare. He came on and... He, there was a bit more energy and like probably even the old that's the goal that he scored was a good finish and for him to try it twice the thing the first no, time it, it didn't work and yeah. then the second time it was actually no, it a good was, finish it was a good goal i mean i'll, I'll give him that might be might be interesting i'll give him that oh was... boy yeah that's liverpool um spurs spurs i said spurs will have a big season and they kind of made a statement in you know when this match 4-1 southampton i expected them to smash southampton and they did that anyway mm. But for me, Kuliczewski, I like that kid, boy. That guy is electric. Mm-hmm. That I did, guy I is electric. I watched some of it. I that guy is electric, man. He's a, he's a, he's a, and he's, he's a, he's a winger that I think all of the teams that we spoke about, mm-hmm. you feel like every, he's the winger hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. A winger like that. And the bad thing is, he's still on loan. Yeah. Like, this might need to confirm that. He's someone that he before. doesn't really. On loan from that, where? Um, um, was it Juve? Oh, mad. That he's someone that he can he can beat you, he can assist you, he can score. That's a, that's a dangerous person. But mm. at least you know that uh, as a winger, if I need to know that my winger's just going to just try and, uh, try and bum me all the time, there's a certain way I'm going to play you. Yeah. But when you're knowing that this person can assist, mm-hmm. this person can bum me, just like. It's, and then plus you got Son and Kane. Mm. That is. And Richarlison still on the bench, bro. Yeah. But this, listen, <laughs> this, personally for me, Richarlison going to um, going to Tottenham is stupid. I don't know why you thought that you was gonna come here and start a game. I oh. I don't. For as long as Kane is there, you are not starting like that, bro. Well, maybe he just wanted to move up. That's maybe. that's cool. But then at least. This is what I'm trying to now say. I've been saying this for weeks, guys. <laughs> Go to a club that it makes sense for you. Yeah. Mm. Like you can't I be heard that. you can't be you can't go to a team, yeah, knowing that okay, like yeah, like this is a good stepping stone for me. But where I'm going, who is in my position that I know or that I know that I have to compete with, or I know that if this person doesn't pattern up and I do, I'm benching this person. Mm. I don't think Harry Kane is one of those man. Even if Harry Kane's having a, Sunday, even if Harry Kane is having a stinker mm. or whatever, you might bench him maybe one or two games. But the minute that guy starts firing goals, it's, really it's long. It's long day. So <laughs> for me, Richarlison was better off going to let's say a team like I don't know West Ham. Go to a team like West Ham. Go to a uh, team like Leicester. I or like West, better yet, West Ham would have been a good move. West Ham, yeah. Or better yet, even move. like or come to you, man. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I mean, like, there was talks, but no, then I don't but know what you, happened. But do you get because he's more likely to start at them kind of clubs yeah. rather than when you're going to a team that you know that has a bad boy striker there. What are you going to? What are you going to do that? Maybe he yeah. thinks he can bench man. He's, yeah, maybe he he's, thinks nah, that. He's, he's only, ambitious, isn't it? But that's only silly. going to it's collect silly. peas. That's true. Yeah, peas. I mean, definitely a big one. Uh, to be fair, I was gonna say I feel like he's put his World Cup thing on the line, but he would have got picked for the squad anyway. Yeah, he's gonna, he's he gonna get picked for the squad. I think on the flip side though, I think Richarlison. He, he would start over Jesus, but that might change. No, he wouldn't. What at the thing? Uh, You're Brazil. going cr- what? No, no. I swear he was starting for Brazil. Yeah, he for did. Brazil. He was, yeah. Oh, for Arsenal. Yeah, no, 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 for Arsenal. No, 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 no. But for Brazil, that's what they did. For Brazil, they oh, took yeah, the yeah, same pick. They picked Ronaldo over Jesus. I would never. I'm picking Jesus. But I'm just saying, a million times. He's put that at risk 
Because if he's not playing regularly, they might think, of well... Course. They're still going to take him. They're no, that's what I'm saying. They'll take him, but yeah. he might not start. Jesus might now start ahead of him. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, he's yeah, not yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. Right, or he's true. barely playing. Mm. Whereas Jesus is looking to start every game at Arsenal, bro. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. facts. So, that's facts. So, so yeah, yeah, I feel like it's, it's Richarlison's fault for even going to Tottenham. Because I, I, I don't know why... But I mean, at the same time, we don't even know how they're going to set up as well. Because it might be a thing. Because obviously, you know, like Kane likes to drop deep or something. Kane might come and do number ten. I but don't Kane know, doesn't man. need to do that. He I doesn't. I know. That's, I'm just saying. I'm just speculating. I think we're really know. gonna see all of them start together. Yeah, Facts. It's, I agree it's not, yeah, it's true. Like we, it's true. We're, we're not gonna see Richarlison, Kane, and Son start yeah, definitely games not. together definitely regularly. I think that the only time he likes to play wing backs anyway, so that's where the five man at the back anyway. Yeah. So yeah, and because true. my man's tall as well, he's quite he's quite yeah. big. I feel like he might just play those. That them two in them kind of games where you're playing, where you might play against Liverpool, and you want to make it hard for them. Yeah. And go like maybe three five two. I mean, oh, you have to look. Remember, remember what he did. Remember what Conte did preseason as well, bro. Man put Mora wing back. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, he's yeah, on all of mean. that. Remember, mm. like even like Sassignon, he's playing him right yeah. wing back. You know what I'm trying uh, to say? Yeah. So like all these players need to understand, especially when you're mm. when uh, you have a man who's been playing this system for time. Some of you that are wingers, that you man are not wingering anymore, bro. No, you man are really defending. Man yeah. said you not, are not wingering come anymore. On, come on, you wing not, back. Yeah, Everybody like, that's a winger is a wing back you now. Wing back, you gotta work. You Everyone gotta track back. To be fair, yeah. Like if I'm not Son or Kane, don't think that's it. It's Conte true, doesn't want to know. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't want, if, <laughs> if we're not Kane and Son that are getting goals and this new, and this young guy, he doesn't want to know. He doesn't want to know. He's them, not them interested. Man, I mean, as much as I'm an Arsenal fan, them man got a win certain this season, man. Yeah, of course, 100%. Have yeah, they have, have to. to. I think that this is... Conte's... They're, they're in top five teams that have spent the most so far. Yeah, I think Conte's mm. um thing for this season is getting them playing football correctly yeah. and getting their mentality right in terms of trying to win something. Like, mm. you can't go this season, especially for Kane... If I'm a manager, I'm telling my man, bro, you can't go this season without not trying to go and grab something. Yeah. Like, you need to move crazy. It's all good and well getting the the uh, mini accolades, your personal accolades, but you can't be another Matt Letizia. You, you, cannot, you, cannot finish, you cannot finish your career in 2020 mm, something. With no medals. Damn. And you're just gonna be another like. Right, let me not say no medals, no, no winners medals. No. Yeah. no, no medals. That's what no medals. That's no, because man's got medals, but man don't have yeah, winners medals. Yeah, but they're runner ups or however. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what ups. I mean. That's why I said man. Yeah. Gonna be medals, another <laughs> another Matt Letizia, bro. <laughs> that you're just at one club trying to show loyalty, but really in your heart you want to win things. What's even acceptable for him in terms of his career? Like, if can, he was to go, can and I be just, honest with you? Yeah. Call me harsh. Carabao's not enough. Yeah, it's true. It's facts. It's facts. It's not. It's not. <laughs> That's but someone, that, someone like Kane, yeah, should, he, Vardy has a Premier League winner's That's medal, mad. bro. That's actually no, mad. Vardy has everything. FA Cup. FA Cup. He's got everything, bro. He's got. He's won everything in English football. In English he has football. Them on Carabao. Them on Carabao. Them on Carabao. Carabao. It's just F- yeah, FA Cup. Just, they've done FA Cup and Prem. And Charity Shield. And Charity Shield. Have they done Charity Shield? No, wait, even sure, but even still, even still, if a cup and prem is good enough, if a cup and yeah, prem, exactly. good. That's someone good. like Kane should at least have those yeah, two things to his name, or at least, or even if they're gonna get a prem, at least try and win FA Cup only, and like try and have like yeah. four. Get something FA in Cups. English football have, yeah, that means have, something, bro. You cannot, something, bro. you cannot leave English football being one of the being one of the most well known footballers. Yeah, that's, that's and then you're gonna that, end up being another Matt Letizia. Because for me, I'll be honest with you... It stinks. <laughs> I wasn't even going to say that. Nah, I feel like Ka- Carabao only means something if you win another domestic trophy. Yeah, it's true. But it's to true. win that alone, no it's one cares. Nothing. Yeah, no one cares it's nothing. It's when true. you win it with something, yeah. then people can be like, oh, Carabao, yeah, but they've they done the domestic double yeah, 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 and all yeah. this. Do you know what I mean? But on its own, it don't mean anything. If I was Conte, that's the first cup I'll go for. It's the easiest one to go for. Yeah, exactly. That's the first... But that's the thing. I will do that to build man's confidence. Yeah. So if I was them, man, I'd say, look, you man, when you look, if you look, do win this, you look better. Treat this like you, you, yeah, you man have just won <laughs> Champions League. Yeah. No, because you know what, you, you need to make man understand. That's a gas thing. Hundred percent. Yeah. It's a gas yeah. Now, once you won it, it sure. yeah, bro. Because mm. like, even like we're bantering them about like even when Liverpool were trying to claim their FA and uh, 
um, Carabao has a good season. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> they them winning that cup, them cups, it meant well. I won't say it meant a lot to them, but you know they were still gassed about it. Yeah. Mm. And I feel like that's the kind of thing that we need to, well, players need to have bring that gas moment back. Arteta's not even been asked to fight along. My man's collected a charity shield in the FA Cup already, bruv. I hear it. I hear it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear yeah, it. actually definitely need to do something. And as much as Spurs are our rivals, and I'm not going to sit here and say Tottenham are rubbish because they're not. Mm. Boy. I'm just keeping it G now. They're not. They need to collect something. It's ridiculous they need, now. They need something. No, they need something. Yeah. It's ridiculous now. <laughs> they have to. But I've but seen Tottenham lift one trophy since I've been alive. One. Yeah, 2005. No, it was. Uh, 2000. Wasn't it 07, 08? Yeah, like they won Carabao. Carabao they won yeah, Carabao yeah. at some point. Carabao Carabao yeah, way What's back. Way time that's ago. the only time I've seen Tottenham lift that's that in cup. Mad you know. That is poor. Man, seen them lift one trophy since I've been alive. But somehow, some way, they're big six. <laughs> I can understand why. Obviously, because they're feeling. It's just it's, finish. it's just consistent top four finishes, bro. That's mm. all it comes down to. Yeah, at but the end yeah, of the you day. still have to class them as big six. Fair Regardless. Piece. <laughs> Regardless whether or not of how you want to spin it or whatever, if they've consistently finished within the top six, then that's what they are. Boy. Boy. These are the facts. <laughs> hmm, interesting. But um, yeah, going to the Premier League champions, Man City. And again, I feel like we all knew that they were gonna win. But <sighs> the highlight is the Man Haaland. And the thing is, I wanna, I wanna ask you guys. Yeah, are we as you know, um, players, fans, even commentators, whatever? Mm-hmm. Are we too fast? Are we too reactionary? Because, like, what, last week, people were saying, oh, Haaland, I don't know if he's going to bang. How can he miss that sitter? And then now, nah, Haaland okay. is what? Oh, my before God. You say <laughs> it, before you say it, <laughs> do you remember what Sammy said? Of course. I that. remember. I remember. Haaland laughed at missing <laughs> that flipping sitter. <laughs> and laughed. for me as well, when I saw that as well, I said, yeah, this is a crazy guy. This is a crazy guy. Because that, that's a man that is so confident. That I was like... Bruv, I missed this. That's that's a joke. Like what? He Bruv, off. he knows that he's gonna score goals. He... And getting two in his first first game. This is a public announcement <laughs> for, the, for fans. Boy. For fans. For fans this, in the this Premier is a League. Public service announcement. Guys, hold on to your seatbelts. Hold on to your because seat the one has tapped into the matrix. Honestly. I'll be real. I knew he would. I yeah. didn't think he. I, just didn't know I didn't when, think he was gonna yeah. hit the ground I running. Didn't know he when he, I, I, I think didn't think he was gonna hit the ground he's running. So perfect Grant, for City though. He's granted, so it's only been one game, but I thought that, I thought it was gonna be a while. But he literally hit is, the ground running. Look at the, look at the, look at the both goals there. Even for the pen, Gundogan wanted to slot him in. The second one, um, De Bruyne wanted to slot him Wait, in. Did you see the? Haaland loves those kind of things. So did you see of course the post he was going to. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This that's when I knew. Yeah, this guy. The post. Wait, it was like it was like uh, ah. Yeah. What did he say? He was like yeah ah something yeah I don't give a shit or something like that. Yeah. And then my man's swearing. Yeah, he's swearing. Yeah, you know. And then even and then um and then the. The reporter Co- had to tell him, yeah, and he was like, it's "Oh like, yeah, oh, this country, I forgot." Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you know that in Dortmund, yeah, you know that when he was at Dortmund, his press conferences, if he says that the team was like shit, he would say, "Yeah, we play shit." Like he's one of them man that are mm. very like these are the kind of strikers I like. like. Bro, these he's are the kind conf- of man he's just using confidence. But then even even Pep, Pep's post match thing as well. Mm-hmm. Obviously, man, don't know who City's penalty taker is. Yeah, I saw that as well. But Pep was just like, I mean, he just picked up the ball and went for it, and the rest yeah. of the players just left him. That's mm-hmm. it. He, was like, what, he, would have, he, he said he would have kicked someone's head. And like, let me if tell you something. That ball. Do you know why they did that? Because them man know. 100%. Them man know as players, this is the one. Because if mm-hmm. it's a striker you don't rate, someone's going to try it's and be true, like, no, nah, let true. me take it. Kevin Bruyne has the. Yep, I know yep, for yep. a fact, KDB is probably in group chat saying, man, them. Yeah. The one is here. <laughs> the one is here. Yeah. So if he wants penalties, mm-hmm. everything. Just let him have it, because you see, yesterday, like what Shakes was saying, when I saw KDB slot my man in here, you know that usually KDB is more of a runner. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing. this one. He's just got someone to ping balls to yeah, now, bro. He's just slotting man through now. Yeah. The boy's not scoring normal you know goals. How, he's just getting assists. Do you know how scary that is to know that. Someone who was very pivotal in your, in City's thing last last season in terms of goals, assists, yeah, is now gonna pick and choose when he wants to turn on the turn on the, the heat. 
It's scary, man. Everyone. It's scary. We have to it's hold. So scary. We have to hold on to our seats, <laughs> and we have to pray. Every time Harlan, every time we see Harlan not on the score sheet, we have to thank Baba God. <laughs> I <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't be surprised no, no, no. if his brother scores listen, in every game. You know, I have listen. Every I, time, I feel like he could. Every time I see him not on the score sheet, I have to thank Baba God because it's long. It's just, he could literally score every it's game. Just this, mm-hmm. It's that Kane every factor. Game. Every, you're expecting Kane and these him to be on the score sheet. sheet. Trust me. Listen, how long you're here? It's long. It's a wrap. It's actually it's a wrap. It's long. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's, a wrap. it's right. long. Because everyone, when, when you're talking about Nunes and when there was, oh, chat, community shield, I said, all right, cool. I said, even the community shield thing, the, the, the person that everyone's going crazy over for, for just scoring, I said, nah, it's not... This is not it. The person who's just laughed at missing a sitter. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm scared of him. I'm, yeah, I'm worried. I am it's worried. A, That's a sick man. That's a sick man. Because you know it's that. Because you know that in normal instances, yeah, yeah. Strikers when they miss that kind of sitter, it, their heads gone for the head. game. Yeah, in your both head. of them. It's yeah, I was just gonna their say. Their heads gone for yeah. the rest of the game. That that's, might... that's that's what you want from man, though. No, it's true. But I didn't expect it from him. That's <laughs> the honest truth. I didn't expect him to think for him to be like just laughing. Mm-hmm. Cause like she said, I won't. Someone... I won't say I expected him to laugh, but like even just looking at him at Dortmund, you just know the guy's an animal, bro. He's an animal. He's, an animal. he's a different beast, bro. He's international. He's a different everything. beast, bro. Everything. The different guy is beast. just. Yeah, this guy's coming to come and tear the police. I just bro. pep. I, I not... need you to retire, bro. Please, <laughs> bro. Just, 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 please, because. I can't. I don't think I can have. Pep's not leaving. I don't think until he wins that Champions mm-hmm. League. With but City, that season, bro. I think this could be their season. To this do might it. be the one. This might be the one. I promise you, this might be their season. Once he bangs that Champions League with City, then he, then, he, then he might consider. Do you think so? I don't think he's. I don't gonna think cut. he's going to cut. I feel like he, he will stay. He's he might run. He might, he might run down his contract. He might run down his contract and just be like. I, I feel like he wants to dominate Premier League. He wants to be that guy. I hear it. Cause he's still young. He still can definitely do it. I hear it. But Pep, please, man, just give us. Because what? But where hasn't he been yet? He he's done. He's done the league. He's been. He's been, 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 been France. He's been Italy. He's been France. Yeah. No. Yeah. He hasn't been Italy or France. France. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. He's been Germany. So he's been Germany, La Liga, and here. Yeah. yeah. He ain't been Italy. He ain't been France. But the thing is, I don't think that he's gonna go. I don't see him going France. I don't see him going France or Spain like that. Really. I mean, he's done Spain, bro. I mean, Italy. I mean, sorry, could, Italy. Sorry. I feel like he could go Italy. France. No, there's nothing there for him. There's no point. There's no the point. Waist. Yeah, there's no point in him going there. He can win that in his sleep. He can probably let his number two okay. yeah. manage that. I could that see him at AC Milan or something like that. Like, I could see oh, him doing that. Shout, you know? I could just see him just doing something. Oh, no, I need to make sure. But yeah, man, the one... The one... <laughs> the one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's his name, the one. That's his name. <laughs> that's what I'm giving him. That's the his name, one. the one. Hey, hey, hey. Nah, He's man. tapped into the Matrix. Because I told you, look, I, I, do, I said, look, once he taps in... Yeah, even if he doesn't do score not... next week, I don't care about that. He's mm. he's just he's got his his thing off, so mm. he just might go crazy. Boy, he's look, gonna go crazy. It's mad. It's actually mad. Now, the thing is as well, yeah. Defenders know about him. They're shook off him. Yeah, the the guy is a bruv, He's a big guy and he's animal. an animal. Bro. The Fam, one is long. here. It's mad. It's Guys, long. let's brace ourselves because uh, it's it's gonna be a very very long season ahead mm. of us. A very long season very, but even yeah. staying on, on on city as well i saw something Grealish must have had like a little chat during the match uh, in-game chat with pep i saw that I, it, <laughs> it, it, it looked like he it said looked like it, it looked a bit heated or whatever it did still. so now sport bible have now come and reported and said that um what do you call it that Grealish, Grealish and they kind of yes yeah, told him to do one and Grealish now commented to them lot and said no we didn't do that you can ask pep himself like you got get your facts right and all that kind of stuff and I find that very interesting. And the thing is, I expect someone like Grealish to do something like that as well because he's very vocal. Is it time that players start, you know, speaking, being more, you know, yes. open and, and doing... And because, I, like... I mean, I, I don't know why they haven't been doing that. I would that. say, mm. yeah, like, sometimes it gets to a point where... I'm not even going to say it gets to a point where... I just think the whole media training thing is rubbish. I just it's think... No, just know what you can and can't say. Facts. Mm. Keep it G. Whatever Facts. you're saying... Keep it honest. Facts. Mm. I just, agree. just know where the line is. Because like when I think of something like this, and I think, what would Marcus Rashford do? 
Like he'll go and write flipping write, <laughs> essay to post, bro. He'll and he'll write. probably apologize yeah. for something he didn't even can, do. Can you imagine that's what he'll do? Like, like, I, yeah, like not not everything has to be PC. Sometimes just say how it is. I just bro. think mm. that I just think that if players because now they're starting to show their personality. Mm. Some of them you can see that some of them have a personality. Filthy fellas. Yeah. They had um Risa on there. Yeah. They had who? Um John and Oh yeah. On yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It just looked like a big vibe. Mm. I, and I feel like that's how it should be. No, like. it should. It just looked like a big vibe. Because again, remember that like, you see football. Football's like one it's not one of them sports that like, you're not that like, you're not interviewing these professionals yeah. to ask them how serious their job is. Like yeah. this is entertainment. So even like in in their line of field, like, do you know how much jokes you're having at football? Like, I hear, like, people need, like, I've I've played pro, like, I've done the pro thing before, so, like, even just me being at an academy, yeah, yeah. like, just the battle between academy lads or in the change room or just, like, when you're just doing, playing yeah. football, like, these men that are, that are professionals have the same fun but on a bigger scale. Yeah. So, how you're even speaking to them can be very, can be very normal, and bantery. You don't have to be mad serious unless you want to know about serious things, isn't it? Mm. But I don't think that the media give these players an an outlet to show that yeah. to show their character to, to show their character. I, f- I feel like the people in the long run that will end up having these sort of sit downs with players are the likes of yourselves, the people that yeah. sit down and do stuff like this. But you it's happening already. It's like even what's um. Daps counter attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, man had to sit down with Nuno. He just done one with Sambi again the other day. So yeah, man, even doing it with players that are playing now, See, it's mm. as well as players in the past. Yeah. So even to have a sit down with some of the man them that are playing now, mm-hmm. I feel like it's even better with the players that are playing now because it's like you see them in a different light because mm. you're not going to sit there and talk yeah cool you're going to converse about football a little bit but you're going to talk about a whole bunch of other mm-hmm. things yeah, as well. Facts. Mm. Fact that I think that again like you're saying it bridges the gaps between fans and um players it even probably has um makes people even the players that do do interviews that that could and even if they might not even be a superstar superstar like that mm. that could be the fans favorite player because of he's showing the personality he's, yeah. he's yeah. coming to talk he's coming to you know open up and stuff like that and these things but yeah man i think that the new media have a problem on their hands because it's it's that the new the way the new media is doing things it's 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 different yeah it's it's more fun it's more enjoyable yeah. um the people that are that are in the football scene now are not afraid to ask questions but important questions or questions that if you are oh, not ask a question um on top of that as well the people that are now interviewing these footballers are also fans Mm. So they're literally talking from a fan's perspective. Yeah. But I feel like journal- journalists, they want <clears> to <throat> try to do this funny thing. Journalists, they're always trying they're, to catch they're, man yeah, out. Trying to catch so, man yeah, out and trip so man like, out. No, yeah. they got ta- like, so I think with what's happening now, podcasts and stuff ain't got time to try and catch people out. It's either when I have- Man, them just want to sit down and have a conversation. Either, yeah, that's what it is. Either literally. we're going to tell you what we're going to give you to that one, the kind of questions we're going to ask you, or we're just not going to touch that, touch that's on yeah. on the topic. But some, do you know what it is though? Sometimes instead of asking people, are uh, like, what is it okay if we ask you this? Mm. Nine times out of ten, man, man could just ask man, is there anything you don't, don't want to talk, talk about? about. Yeah, literally. Yeah. And then from then it's like, cool, man have said, cool, I don't want to discuss this. Yeah, Everything else is oh, fair game, bro. Like, mm. When we used to have, we we're getting yeah. off. Like we, that's exactly what I used to do. Like, mm. Yeah, like so. One, everyone's respectful of everybody's per, mm-hmm. like personal thing. Like if you don't want to speak about certain things, then cool. You understand but see with the with media they just want to try and poke antagonize mm. and these things just like just allow it because if you journalists if some of your dirty laundry was to come out you nice. lot will mm-hmm. be running for the hills curtains bro do you that's understand what i'm trying to say boycott, bro. Boycott that's why we see mainstream. mps yeah, <laughs> that's why boris johnson them might have to resign in that because they're doing a crazy they're doing a madness but and, yeah, and that's what we can see. Exactly. But yeah, these journalists won't really ask them the questions that they should be asking to get the right questions out of these men. But for footballers, yeah. because these don't think that footballers are stupid or they're not clever, yeah. you don't think that you're going to try and now 
Try, try and get on, try and draw man out and get onto man. It's just like you lot are in for a rude, a rude awakening now. Hundred mm. percent. You know. But yeah, man. Me, I'm, I've been boycott mainstream media because yeah, I don't. Yeah, lies. I don't like it. And, it's, and again, it's just they're all trying to sell stories, kind of thing. Yeah, hundred percent. So it's just a bit mad. But again, like you're saying, a lot of like I'm happy with like you know the podcasters, even like stuff like All or Nothing and and stuff mm-hmm. like that is actually allowing these players to actually you can see that they're not just these guys on the screen. Like yeah. you can actually see how they interact Trust with me, each, that's each what other. Happened, like that's what yeah, happens. Like, like what I was saying. To that's you what happens in football. Like when you come in, it's like even like. A, a man's normal day again depending if you're going to train in the morning or afternoon mm. yeah you're coming in you yeah. might have breakfast you might just go and chill in That's the enough. canteen like, even just seeing these might just... interact with yourself in the canteen and yeah. just yeah. look at each other like oh. like when Saka sat he sounded like a kid would be saying it was like imagine scoring like the thing at the North London derby bro <laughs> 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 like, that, these, things are, that, these things are real like like these man was like, the same way that like um, again we watched it on the the Tottenham all Tottenham, yeah. one, yeah. like when they're watching that like, Sky Sports and stuff. Like yeah. I remember, I was those time when I'm I'm in the canteen, like watching these things, like yes. mm. with like you're chilling with your academy lot, but you might see like the first team not coming, like, mm. and they're just chatting. These things are happening, or you might just chill in your in the changing rooms and just chill, just chat. When it's time for you to go, you just go home. Like, yeah. these, like these are the things that just happen. It's not like footballers just coming. I think I don't know. Maybe a lot of people's perceptions of footballers that they just come in with mad arrogance and they're just mm, you know what i'm trying to say yeah. that it's not not and everyone's like is, that nine times nine not out of ten of them ain't like that you know that's the maddest they're thing not. they're not mm-hmm. it's only a handful that mm-hmm. are like that then that's the craziest thing is then you're right then well, i see a lot of them are actually even shy like they are, shy, lot of them are bro. Shy. and i understand it's because it's that especially like once you're a footballer now and you're maybe someone of prospect or you're someone that's actually a first team starter and stuff mm. Remember, you're coming from maybe like, especially for an academy player. Yeah. You can go from an academy player one minute, and in the next maybe two, three months, you could be a regular starter for the That's first true. team. The soccer. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It happened to Marcus Rashford in that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's like they're in. So in. Have you not even watched the Cesc Fabregas? Please. That's what we need to. I have it. What's that on Prime? No, on ITV. So even I watch. So watch that. So even he was even talking about it. So he went from being a Barcelona academy player to now Arsenal buying him. Mm. So it's so even so much. So this is what he even actually said. So he said, um, in his mind, he thought he was still coming to like Arsenal to be an academy man. So he but just, he just he thought, didn't, he just thought he was going from one academy to the next. Yeah, but he didn't clock that. No, like you're actually coming <laughs> to be a part of the first team. So he was like saying, oh, even though he was living in digs, he still had the um, the academy mentality of, oh, I can't do certain things. But they were like, no, like you're a first team star. So even like what he was spending, what they were giving him a week just to spend, just just for him, just not for, I think they were giving him like four bags, Mm. four bags. And he was like, no, like you look can give me 500. He's like, for my (laughs) age, because maybe he was like 16. He's like, for my My age. That, but, but that should show you the kind of level yeah. of his innocence yeah, at the yeah. time. It's like in his mind, he's like, "But I'm 16. 500 mm. pounds is good for me." Uh-huh. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But yeah. he said, "I'm getting four thousand pounds a week just to spend on whatever I like." But he's like, in his mind, he didn't. He's like, in his yeah. mind, he's still thinking that he's an academy man. Right. So when you're also even saying that, oh, certain men are shy, it's because certain men still, even though they're first team man, but certain men still have that that academy mm, mentality yeah. of how to be. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? So sometimes it could be very hard to transition yourself from being a nobody to now somebody. I hear it. Unless you're one of those guys that's confident and you know you're gonna be that guy, you're gonna get first team football and whatever. But the guys that are shy and stuff like that, mm. some of them man still have that mentality of academy man. Like even like Kieran, when you're looking at Kieran Tini, yeah. that's someone that doesn't yeah, look like. You could tell. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. someone that doesn't you know look like. You know what's mad? Man that <laughs> you'll think you'll think that more of him when you watch the All yeah, or Nothing thing. True. I can just look at him. I just know that you have an academy mentality. That mm. you, your thing is you're just all about football. There's nothing mm. else that you care about <laughs> apart from football. Bro, I don't want to ruin it, but like even with the All or Nothing, <laughs> brother, he lives with the chef. Yeah. See, look at that. 
he lives with the first team chef because the first team chef used to be his chef back home in Scotland see look at that so they live together and and those kind of things are the things that will um split certain footballers apart yeah so like even like i think i saw i can't remember i saw it but i think it was someone um uh someone that used to play football so they were saying oh if he had the money that he had back then now there's so, so much things he would have done differently like get himself a team so like you said get yourself a chef personal trainer mm. nutrient uh someone that's you know big on um nutrition and those kind of things so you see like let's say like what ronaldo do. i'm sure ronaldo must have a crazy team trust mm. me yeah. his team must be even just crazy that bro. that, that so, car of security that ride behind him there's <laughs> at, you know there's at least two <laughs> three men in that car bro. so mm. if you know that if he's moving like the president or some someone of important um you know status mm. only god knows what his diet's like and who's Everything. who's cooking for him and stuff like that yeah so those are the kind of things those are the small things that set players apart from each other yeah um, do you understand like again like i'm trying to say that's if i had a cooler head or more of a cooler <laughs> head than whatever i probably still be playing football today but <laughs> just that's, um, wasn't wasn't that person. Yeah, I wasn't. So, so we just no, start just banging truth. man over on the pitch, but bro. That's what was happening. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? That's like that's what was happening. <laughs> I was hot head. <laughs> no, and so you see what I'm trying to say? Like there's a there's a fine line. So remember, I'm coming from a place here where for my like my team for my team that I play with, yeah, like every week Sunday and that. I'm a starter. Like I'm someone. That, I'm an I'm an integral person for my team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's how I see it, mm. kind of thing. So when I've got signed, I'm thinking like, yeah, like in my mind somewhere, I'm still that person. But again, obviously you have to, you have to remember that coming to a new team, people have to get used to you and stuff like that. But for someone as me on, on my small level of me being in an academy, and I'm I'm fuming because a schoolboy has started before me, like for me to now go and remember i'm under contract i'm under contract you know but i've got to go and try and go on another trial for another team it's crazy stuff yeah that's exactly what i did <laughs> try and force a move it's crazy but i'm under contract <laughs> can you imagine i'm under contract but i've gone to do that and that's what's got me and that's what's got me released so if i was more co- cooler and more probably like you know what i'm trying to say but mm-hmm. these, there's there's different things like when you're young there's just different things that you have to manage and I, and again i don't feel like a lot of clubs have to have things in place for young for younger people just for in terms of get their mentality right just to know what they're gearing up for yeah because i didn't really know what yeah that's cool i'm i work to a point where i know that this is what i want and i've got what i want but it's now you're working more harder for that next bit mm. that no one isn't really showing mm. you really you get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. So it's just all, there's a lot of factors and different things. Yeah, but, yeah. I heard no. that. But yeah, boys, another week of football. We yeah, enter another one. And again, I'm just happy that the league is back and there's actually something I to have, watch. Like there's this football yeah. to watch, to be honest. About, exactly, exactly. The one is <laughs> here. The, the one, one. Is Listen, that's here, his bro. name. The one. The one. The one. He's but, yeah. been the one at Germany. He's come here. And if you're saying Golden Boot, it's a shout, boy. Right now, Golden Boot is only for three man right now. Kane, Salah, awesome. actually no four man. So I've actually, how can I disrespect son? Sorry, son. Kane, mm. son, Salah, and Harlan. I don't really see anyone mm. else mm. getting in that conversation. Yeah. Assists. KDB Why not? <laughs> do you know? Do you know what? Yeah. When when the man them are back, let's do our predictions. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Let's so do the full full on full. Who the yeah, top full. top four, bottom three, yeah. top goal scorer? All who's gonna that. win all the trophies oh, and yeah. that? But we'll I, I that. think that obviously your top like near the assist, KDB, your Trent's. Well, mm, yeah, Trent to a degree. I think Son of King will probably be there as well. Yeah, Son of King. Exactly. Just to each other. I literally. <laughs> literally that Aye. so it's, it, yeah. i think that this season is going to be interesting no definitely it's going to be very interesting but the one is here guys Let's the hold one on. is there and that's game week one done guys as always make sure you know you're commenting the conversation continues in the comments so get at us you know like subscribe follow all of that kind of stuff and we will see you next week bow out